Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show how to reconstruct the parallel beam city data using the city reconstruction plugin in Dragonfly. In the last video, I have shown how to reconstruct the cone beam data set uh, using the city reconstruction plugin. Um, so actually the steps, overall the steps are quite similar. Uh, only some small details differ between the cone beam and parallel beam reconstruction. So in this video, I'm going to mainly focus on these differences. Okay, first step, let's load our parallel beam data set. Um, okay, instead of a, a series of TIFF, TIFF images, um, I already load my data set as a ORS object, so, I, so I'm going to load it directly. Okay, so this is my uh, parallel beam data set. It has 1,025 projections. Uh, it is a, a fiber, rain burst, fiber rain first ceramic composites data set shared with us by uh, Ali Bajan from University of Colorado. Thanks, Ali, for sharing this with us. It was acquired uh, on a, a synchrotron parallel beams macro CD beam line. And this is only part of it. I cropped 400 slices for, uh, for this tutorial video. And if we go to the XZ plan, we can see it has the sinogram of it. Okay, again, the same thing. Make sure that the detector plane is on the XY plane and that the rotation axis is along the y axis. Next step, let's start our city reconstruction plugin under workflows. Okay, do I already remember my choice, but what typically you need to do is for the projection data set, choose your raw data, choose your projections as a projection data set. Oh, here is some differences for the geometry acquisition. You can see that for parallel beam data set, you have to choose the parallel beam as a beam type, and you have much less parameters compared with a cone beam reconstruction. So we have minimum angle, which is typically zero, and angle step. So for our data set, we have 1025 projections covering the uh, 180 degrees. So the angle step for each of the projection is 0 0.1756. And next, the detector spacing along the X and along the Y. Typically, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, so we just put it as 1. But be careful, uh, because when you input the rotation center offset, typically it was given by a unit of pixel. And if you want to calculate the real values, you have to use the value in pixel multiplied by the detector spacing. So that's the only thing you need to be, be careful. Uh, and for our data set, the rotation center offset is minus, one point, uh, one, minus 107 millimeter with the detector spacing of one millimeter. In the, I'm going to have another uh, a tutorial video to show how to use the find rotation center uh, push button to find the correct rotation center offset. If you're interested, please don't uh, don't forget to look at the other one. All right, we have all the parameters ready, and the next step is for the reconstruction engine. So first, we have the RTK options. This is just like the uh, Combeam dataset. You can choose the algorithm of FDK. And there's an extra uh, options here. You can choose the mask ratio, which means it's going to apply a mask to only crop the central cylinder region and remove the uh, background on the edge. So if you have a mask ratio of 1, it means no mask is applied at all. And typically, the default value is 0 0.9. We will see what it looks like when we have the preview ready. Um, 
Okay, so this is the FDK, uh, this is the RTK FDK algorithm. Another option, you can use a thermal pi reconstruction engine. And in thermal pi reconstruction engine, there are two options. The first one is the grid rig. And you can choose which filter you want to be uh, applied. And the second one is the art. The art algorithm is an iterative algorithm, so you have to choose a number of iterations over here. But again, since it is an uh, iterative method, it typically takes longer. So I would recommend to use either RTK, FTK, or Tomopai, Gregric for your reconstruction. Can show both uh, pre-processing. Typically, for parallel beam data set, a uh, flight field correction is required. But uh, again, let's put this in uh, another tutorial video, which I'm going to uh, talk about all the preprocessing filters we have. OK, let's skip this part for now. Uh, then basically, we already have everything ready. So now we can compute preview. That is super fast. Okay, you can see there's a round, seems like a round mask in the center, so that's basically what mask ratio do. So we are gonna crop out the 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 background on the edge, have all the central regions here. Okay, and that is our data set for one page. I believe those round thing in the middle is a fiber. We are looking at the cross section of the uh, fiber and ceramic in the central. We can also choose to use the uh, RTK FTK compute preview. This is also very fast. Okay, now we have our data set. Well, for this one, the mask is not that obvious, but if we do the window level, you can see here. There is a sharp edge with a mask ratio of 0 0.9 here. And that is our reconstruction. Again, if you um, close your city reconstruction plugin, but you still want to use the same parameters to do the reconstruction, same thing. You can open the city reconstruction beta version. So now we lost all our options, and we have the comb beam and the other options. You can use import inputs from preview. Let's choose the preview one for a size 200. Okay. So it's going to remember all your options over here. And then we can do our reconstruct and load. It's going to take some time. All right, the reconstruction is done. OK, so here is our reconstruction volume. We have all the 400 slices reconstructed. As shown here, if we go to the XZ plan, we'll see the fibers. The central. Okay, and the reconstruct and save option is exactly the same as uh, what I have shown in the last video. I'm not gonna uh, show it again in this video. So that's basically all for today's video. Um, but one thing, uh, because we didn't use a flight field correction, we didn't apply 
the preprocessing feature on this uh, data set, so it is still not in its best uh, quality. So if I go to the XY plane, you can see there are still some ring artifacts. For this, I'm going to show you uh, in another video to see how we can improve the image quality using the preprocessing filter. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.